everyone thank you so much for tuning into my channel today we are making super rich and creamy and decadent cold dessert it's instant you can make it in no time at all we're making salted caramel chocolate brownie trifle if you love caramel and you love chocolate and you want to make a super easy dessert that will impress anyone with taste and looks this is the dessert to make and you can go the store-bought route with this or you can make things at home i'm gonna share links and recipes for everything so that you can choose whatever works for you so let's get started with the recipe but before that please do consider subscribing to my channel and giving this video a big thumbs up so let's begin with the brownie layer for that i have my molten chocolate brownies i've cut them into small pieces you can use any of my brownie or cake recipes you can use store made ones you can also use boxed cakes or brownies whatever is good for you whatever is easy for you and for the salted caramel layer i'm using this this instant caramel pudding it's super easy all you do is you pour the powder into cold milk everything is mentioned on the box so follow the instructions carefully and to make it salted caramel I am going to put one teaspoon of salt in it but if you don't want to make it salted caramel just plain caramel you can easily skip it if you want to make your own pudding I'm also going to link the recipe of how you can make your own pastry cream as well as the caramel sauce you can mix the two and make your own caramel layer so you just whip it till it's nice and smooth and thick just like you can see here it's super luscious really delicious so now that's done let's put it aside and get started with our next layer which is going to be the chocolate layer i am going to be making a smaller quantity so it's not a big batch it's good for maybe three to four people so i take in about quarter cup of chocolate and half cup of heavy whipping cream so basically it's one part chocolate and two part cream you microwave it for 30 to 40 seconds in five seconds burst and you mix it it's like making a ganache basically and just stir it till it's nice and smooth and luscious just like you see it here and you can do most of this steps ahead of time but really you don't have to because once everything is ready you just let it and your dessert is done so for the final preparation i'm going to whip some cream so for the quantity i'm making i took about one cup of cream and i'm going to whip it with one to one and a half tablespoons of sugar i don't want this to be overly sweet because we already have a lot of sugar in the pudding as well as in the chocolate and the brownies so this is going to make it light and it's going to cut off some of that sugar and richness also if you want you can get the store-bought kinds the one you can get in the fridge or freezer section in a plastic container which is already whipped and ready to go and believe it or not that was all the preparation that you needed to do which i think took me like 10 minutes and now it's like an assembly line i have all my ingredients set up to layer my beautiful trifle we have the cream the pudding i'm also going to be using these score chip bit bites these are like crunchy caramel bits and i'm also using this store-bought caramel sauce if you want to make them at home it's super easy i have linked my caramel cake video here in that i've shared how i make the sauce as well as caramel crunch so you can actually use those just make sure that they have cooled down and you're not pouring or adding um, hot caramel on top of your brownies or hot caramel pieces on top of your whipped cream because that's going to deflate it so to assemble the trifle i have taken two large cups two con clear containers you can use a medium size um, dish which is about four to six cups or you can make small tiny shot glasses that should be this recipe should be good for maybe about 10 or 12 of those depending on how big of a cup you're using and if you want you can double or triple or quadruple everything and make a ginormous trifle dish for your friends and family so i took the brownies i uh, broken them down further a little bit then i added the caramel and if you noticed i am adding everything towards the edges as well so that because it's a clear container i want all the layers to be visible and uh, for the trifle to look more appealing if you're using ceramic or anything that's not clear enough it's you don't have to even worry about that so now I have my caramel followed by the crunchy score bites. Uh, if you want, you can actually use score candies or any candies for that matter. And now if you notice that my ganache is in pouring consistency, this is a little important. If your ganache has thickened up because that is pretty normal, once it's cold, it, thicks, it thickens up. 
um, you can put it in the microwave for five to ten seconds you want it to be at room temperature but still at a pourable consistency and that's because as it cools down it hardens it gets heavy and if you try to spread it around it's just gonna ruin all your layers and it tends to sink in the bottom and mush up all the layers so this is gonna keep it where it belongs once you put it in the fridge once you chill the trifle it's gonna get that really delicious uh, sort of a fudgy almost truffle like texture but it's gonna stay where it's supposed to stay so that's a little tip i wanted to throw in for you guys the rest is pretty simple you just layer your trifle any way you want until you either run out of the ingredients or your glass is completely full and if you're making shot glasses or individual servings of this dessert you don't have to do multiple layers you can actually have one layer of each of these ingredients like you can have a brownie layer followed by the pudding then the caramel you don't have to do it again and again like i'm doing it here um, for large containers i do recommend having three to four layers of everything because not everybody will be able to reach the bottom of the jar and you want everyone to get all of the goodness uh, while they're enjoying this and also for the topping i like to cover it all around because if you're gonna be leaving it in the fridge for a long time the brownies or the cake that you have used once export to the air in the fridge especially it can get a little hard so cream or pudding or whatever you have left on top of it is gonna prevent it from getting hard or dry and afterwards if you want to give your trifle a little bit more height and you want it to look more rustic you can add spoons or dollops of fresh cream to give it more height visually especially if you're doing a large trifle container but since i am making smaller quantities individual cup sizes and i do have some leftover brownies i decided to add some crumpled up some roughly chopped brownies in the middle to give it that height followed by shavings from a dark chocolate bar which is optional but it do look really good and it tastes even better so that's it your trifle is ready make sure to cool it down before you serve it because it does taste better when it's chilled um, so that was all you can dig in and enjoy uh, please do try it and let me know how this recipe turns out for you and what kind of changes you made uh, if you made your own pudding or you went the store-bought route um, so do try it out and let me know how it turns out for you and share your recreations with me on my instagram page which is by the same name the homemaker baker underscore falakalik until next time the homemaker baker over and out